Welcome to part four of the Contact 3 tutorial videos. One of our main goals when creating Contact 3 is to make creating and adjusting modulations both faster and more fun. In this tutorial, we'll see some of the ways that modulation ability in Contact has been significantly improved. In order to create interesting and more organic sounds, chances are that you'll need to explore modulations. Contact 3 makes modulations very simple. If you, for example, want to have the mod wheel on your MIDI keyboard control filter cutoff, simply drag the MIDI CC module onto filter cutoff and change the CC number to 1, which as you can see it already is by default. Now when you move the mod wheel, you will see and hear this happening in real time. But if you listen closely, you can hear we have a problem. There is a jumpy character to our wheel movements. This is because we're using an external MIDI source, and MIDI can only send 128 steps per parameter, so our filter cutoff is being constrained to 128 possible values. That's where Contact 3's lag parameter comes in. If you increase this value, Contact will automatically smooth out the jumpiness of the MIDI signal by interpolating between received MIDI values. Ah, much better. One additional feature in Contact 3 is the ability to shape the modulation curve. You might want to create a sweet spot in an expression pedal, for example, so that the filter doesn't begin to fully open until the pedal is almost completely depressed. To implement this kind of behavior, click the Modulation Shaper button. You can now individually adjust each of the 128 steps, or draw in a more general curve. Sometimes you want a mathematically precise curve, and Contact now gives you this possibility as well. Pressing the Switch button allows you to bend a continuous curve by hand, or insert other breakpoints for extreme curve customization. Now we used an external modulation source in our filter cutoff example, but Contact 3 has plenty of internal modulation sources as well. Let's use an LFO to control pitch. The source controls for all internal modulations will show up at the bottom of the rack in their own section. Here you can change the LFO rate, for example. Keeping these source controls separate from the destination keeps the contact rack from getting too busy. Something great about Contact 3, however, is that you can quickly jump from a given entry in the modulation router to its source controls merely by pressing the Quick Jump button. If you're wondering whether modulators can further modulate other modulators, the answer is definitely yes. It's done the same way as creating other modulation sources. Dragging and then dropping a MIDI CC onto the frequency parameter for the LFO we've already created, and then moving the mod wheel, will allow you to control the speed of the LFO. That concludes this brief tutorial on Contact 3's modulation features. Once again, this only begins to scratch the surface, and we encourage you to check out some of Contact's other exciting modulation sources on your own.